today we're gonna dive into a new feature rolling out for Zoho CRM for everyone called connected records and connected workflows. Um, this one actually took me a bit. I had to read the articles a few times just to make sure I fully understood kind of the pros and cons of using these. And I have to say where I've landed is I'm pretty excited. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna be happy with this as it provides you a way to kind of map out a multi-step or multi-module process all within one user interface. Kind of trying to move away of that scenario where you've got 20 workflows all just in your list of workflow rules that are managing a long and complicated process. So let's jump right on in. Um, so we've got two articles that we're gonna cover here today with a full tutorial to follow, um, going over connected workflows and records. So you will actually see connected records and connected workflows both talked about. We're gonna cover records first, then we're gonna dive into the workflows that kind of automate the relationships between those. So if we think about what a connected record is, it's essentially a sequence of modules that generally are going to occur in an order that have connected workflow automation that would tie them together. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, I've been using Zoho for a while and I already have this stuff, right? I've got a deal that gets closed one, I make an onboarding module, I make an advocacy module, like we could do all of this with custom modules. Um, and really where the nuance comes in is one, how they look when you're in that deal record and you're actually looking at those connected records. And two, how the workflows actually happen, right? Because it gives you a whole new UI and how to manage these. So one, these records can be created manually, or via workflows. One nice thing that I'll highlight is that you don't need to use Deluge to create them in a workflow. They actually have like a dedicated little action option that exists in your workflow management um, that will allow you to create them. Outside of just the creation of the records, um, one of the things that is a bit different is that they show all inside of one master related list. So if we're looking here on their little walkthrough, you've got rather than like five different related lists, you have one related list called connected records that you can add a variety of different types of records to and then kind of manage all of them through this one consolidated list. So one of the pieces of feedback we actually get pretty often on a Zoho implementation, especially if it's a pretty robust one with a lot of custom modules, is they're like, man, the UI of the, the record gets to be a lot. Like even with Canvas View, where you can kind of reorganize things more, if you have four or five things related to a deal, which isn't that uncommon, right? You've got a deal, you've got an implementation, you've got an onboarding, you've got a survey or case study module, you've got a hour logs module, whatever it may be it gets to be like just long on the page, right? All of these various connected modules. So now you'll essentially have this tab style view that you can consolidate all of them into. Um, outside of that, right, you've got the ability to manually create them or create them via workflow. Um, you're still going to be able to use your normal workflows with these. It's not like it's a totally new platform and it's gonna delete everything that you used to have. Um, but one of those nice things is here, again, we're just watching their kind of click through from that deal. I have the option to really quickly and easily create a connected record to that deal. Um, you're able to use your merge tags and kind of do things how you would with the standard create record option. Um, but again, they're all going to consolidate into that one single related list so that you don't have to have five related lists on the page. Now, Let's get into the real meat and potatoes of this, which is the connected workflows. And I think when you see, for me, you know, you're probably watching this right now. And if you made it this far, you're like, okay, so it's just a custom module and like they all go into a list together, like cool, I guess. Here, I think is really where the magic is, right? In that, let's say you have this type of workflow where you've got a deal and the deal could result in an onboarding record, a legal record, a procurement record, et cetera, et cetera. What gets kind of tricky is like going into your workflows list and managing the creation of all of these various records and then the specific workflows that occur within them, right? And so here, basically what Zoho is saying is, look, rather than make 10 different workflows for this, go to your connected workflow editor for that deal and set them all up as one consolidated thing. Right. So when a deal goes to closed one, all of these records are going to be created. And while we're at it, we're going to do a notification. Right. So 
it's realistic that you might end up having separate workflows to accomplish this before. Now you really just need this one where you're kind of creating the multiple things all at once within one flowchart style UI. So looking a bit more like a blueprint, but without that level of like really tight process control. Um, before we jump into the rest of the tutorial here on the workflow side, I do want to ask if you're finding the video useful so far, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment with any questions on this or how you're planning on using it inside of your CRM. We always love to hear from you on that. And if you'd like some help configuring this inside of your Zoho account, just head on over to Sonata.com and click on book a meeting. We'd love to talk. So let's keep rolling here. So step by step, how do we actually go about creating a connected workflow? So Similar to your standard workflow builder, you've got triggers on creation, edit, create or edit, or the edit of a very specific field that can be that initial trigger for this. Um, one thing I'll also highlight is they're enabling multi-module triggers. So you might have criteria that is in a related module that you want to include. Uh, you'll be able to do that here. And then you'll have the option for different actions. Now, Right now, the actions are limited to creating a connected record, updating a connected record, or sending a notification. So those who are pretty deep in Zoho workflows, you're probably thinking, hmm, might not be quite ready for me yet. And I would agree, right? You're probably going to need things like create task or activity. You're probably going to want to be able to trigger deluge functions as part of this as well. Um, so if your goal is to get completely out of the standard workflow builder, you might not be there quite yet. Uh, but I would assume as they continue to improve this functionality, we'll see all of that get moved over. So now we've kind of looked at like what the workflow building step really looks like. Let's look at a use case, right? So inside of a CRM, it's pretty common to have some type of initial evaluation. I might think of that more like the master deal record. You might at certain points need to schedule a demo request. If you were to win that deal, you'll do a customer onboarding. And then once that onboarding is done, or maybe as part of that onboarding, you're going to schedule one or multiple trainings, right? So here, basically what they're saying is, look, we're going to start with the deal as a custom, as the primary module, kind of what we would expect. When we create a record inside of the deal, we're going to add a case study record, basically starting the process for the marketing team. When that status goes to qualified, we're going to then create a product demo, basically meaning like, hey, at this point, we're ready to activate the resource, right? And the creation of that demo record might notify a team so they can reach out and set up that demo to actually occur. Then once we get into closed one, you'll be able to queue up your onboarding record, which would then hand it off to that next team. So what this is kind of talking about here is that there are scenarios in the past where a lot of this stuff gets built natively into the deal record, right? And that deal, as a result, can get quite big, right? Where you've got a case study section, you've got a demo request section. And what Zoho is kind of implicitly suggesting with this implementation is, hey, maybe consider breaking some of this stuff out into its own record. Now, why would you want to do that? One, simplicity, right? You just don't have as many fields all crammed into the deal. Two, there might be cases where you do this more than once, right? Especially around something like a product demo. Like I've done a product demo for something before and then reached out later and said, can we do another? <laughs> I'd love to just like maybe look at this feature a little bit more, right? So being able to create more than one of these connected to a deal over time can be a nice value add. And the last one here, and this really ties into the whole idea and, and onus behind um, CRM for everyone is these all might be managed by different teams, right? And so kind of highlighting that here, a marketing team, a pre-sales team, where like you might have historically case study information stored on a deal. The challenge is, is you don't really want to give the marketing team full access to go in and like customize deal fields, right? So we might actually be better off creating some type of team module through the new CRM for everyone and then allocating that module to marketing to give them edit control where it's like, hey, if you guys want to add more stuff to the case studies, go ahead and do that. You own that record, but you can't go in and monkey around with the deal, right? Because that's just too important or it's not really your ownership to go in and do that. So by breaking these out into different modules and then using the connected workflows functionality to like launch each of those records, you can kind of see how you solve some of those permissions and access issues. Now, 
Outside of that, you can then kind of daisy chain these together, right? So after a demo request hits a status of completed, let's say, you might then notify the owner of the deal that the demo is complete. And you might launch a feedback record from that demo request, right? To try to get some more information. How did the demo go? Anything that we think is missing, right? And so you can start to see how they're basically indicating, maybe take some of those multi-step processes that you have, break them into different modules that can kind of be owned by different teams, and then daisy chain them together using a connected workflow process to actually manage movement through those various steps, right? So that now... If we actually go ahead and like look at their video walkthrough here, it's like, hey, all right, we got a deal. And on creation of that deal here, one connected record is already launched, right? We've just done that right out of the gate. As we go to our needs analysis, right? Nothing happens quite yet because this was already created for that case study. But as we move through each of these steps, so let's say that the case study moves to completed, what I would assume here is they're going to jump back over and see, hey, there we go. Now the case study is completed. We're ready to do a product demo, right? So these things are all just kind of happening one after another. You can also see they have those relationship fields. So like from a parent record, I can get to a child record. From a child record, of course, I can get back to a parent record. So again, the whole idea here is just split these things out so that different teams can take more ownership over the customization of that module but make sure that our overall workflow process is connected such that things happen in the appropriate order and they happen with automation and notifications baked in. Now, I do want to highlight currently, this is in early access. You can fill out a form here on their main release article and get on the list, to get it activated. What I will also highlight is that as of right now, these only support team modules. So if you're a longtime Zoho CRM user, you probably have a lot of your custom modules set up as org modules, which is just like the standard custom module configuration. They are going to roll out support for org modules in connected workflows. They've, they've mentioned that actually down in the comments on this article. So if you are a longtime CRM user, I would not recommend trying to recreate everything as team modules just to access this. I would say hold off and wait until org modules are supported. I wouldn't expect that's going to be very long following the early access period. And then build this with your existing modules. I just simply can't really recommend that you rip and replace everything just to access this. I don't think it's like that big of a deal, right? Where you can't wait a couple weeks and just get it supported for what you already have. Um, but do be on the lookout for that because that support should be soon to follow once this rolls out. I did just want to highlight it um, so that you're aware, maybe start in like a sandbox, play with this there and be ready to launch it for your actual modules once that support is included. So with that, I think we're ready to wrap up here for today. This is a really interesting implementation for me. So genuinely, I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think about it. If this is something that you'd want to move over to and maybe start to use versus some of your existing workflows. Um, while you're down there, be sure to like and subscribe if you found the video useful. That's just like a totally free way to help us out. Um, and if you want some help setting this type of thing up inside of your Zoho account, just head on over to Zanata.com and click on book a meeting. We'd love to talk. My name is Tyler Colt, and I will see you next time.